Hey, what's up, guys? Welcome back to Beaker's Lab. Today we're doing episode 2 of Let's Max Town Hall 10. We're maxing Town Hall 10 completely, not skipping anything. We're going to max lab, defenses, and walls. Heroes are already done at level 40. I have a max 2 billion gold grab, and uh, I've still got a long ways to go. I think I've got about half a billion more gold needed for walls. Luckily, you can put elixir into walls now, too. That may speed things up. You'll see here, with a base like this, I win a lot of defenses. Uh, different designs work better than others, but uh, the one I made most recently has worked fantastic. Especially, you know, at this level of defenses and walls, uh, any base will really hold up pretty well in a reasonable range such as this. You know, 2700 cups, Master 3, Master 2 area. Um, having a base like this, you can really hold your own on defense. And uh, that's an exciting part of the game. You know, Town Hall 10s have great defenses, but when you get it maxed, you know, you can you can log off in peace, basically. When I log off, uh, well, I usually do one raid. During the day, I'll do one raid and then close the app for a while. That's just uh, how, you know, my playtime works. I, I can't sit there and stare at the screen all day, but I can do one raid and then close it and come back half an hour later and do another. I usually get raided in between that so you know I'll do one raid and then have defense when uh, when I come back so uh, it just happens pretty much after every raid and I get a lot of defenses in and that's cool you, you get to really test your base that way um, I wouldn't recommend doing that at lower town hall levels like town hall 8 you'd probably lose more loot than than you uh, can gain if you get smashed every time you log off. But at Town Hall 10, it's really a time to experiment with defense. Uh, it's a lot of good design possibilities, and the defenses at Town Hall 10 are just fantastic. Uh, Inferno towers, especially, you know, they can hold off. They can hold off pretty strong attacks. So here we go into the first raid here. Uh, nothing special, but. Lately, this has been a rarity. Getting anything over 200k since the update has been uh, pretty scarce for me. A lot of other people have said that, I've, I've heard, and uh, sometimes that's standard after an update. Uh, not always, but actually a lot of the time, people say that after an update, loot is dry. Uh, usually that means uh, there's not as many collector bases, so kind of have to adapt you have to take storages where you might have just been grinding on inactive bases before but this time I struggled even finding storages that had 200k in them so uh, I think there was just a lot of people active online and spending their loot for the past few days getting the new upgrades and uh Really just checking in. Anytime there's a new update, everyone checks in at the same time. And that has an effect on the loot. That's what I think. I don't think it's anything overly complicated besides that. So here's one of the great parts of Master. See, to me, Master's a farming range, but not to everybody. So this guy's got a full-on cup hunting base with his loot basically outside free to steal. This is fantastic. But... We do want to retain our cups, so we can't just smash and grab and go. We gotta be, gotta be diligent about this. Gotta be careful to get that one star. So, do everything proper as usual in a farming raid. Get that clan castle out, like I am here. I chose to uh, just put one minion there because it wouldn't get shot by that expo and cannon. But uh, obviously, I wasn't paying attention because. Giants aren't lured by a minion. It's probably because it's pretty rare to <laughs> see giants in a clan castle. Uh, most serious players won't request those, but that's a whole other story. Um, it's always good to use, like I did here, one troop to take out a couple buildings. Like this minion is uncontested, nobody's shooting at him. That's going to help me get 50%. It's saving me troops. I didn't need any more than one to take out these couple buildings just one troop so that saves me troops for when I need to go to the other side which I am gonna need to do you'll see we only have 30% here 
there's a lot of buildings on the left and anytime I see that I don't plan on getting any loot over there on the left but there's a bunch of buildings bunched up together and no splash defenses just those archer towers which aren't really high level anyway so I can take out all those buildings with probably 20 troops maybe a little more than 20 troops gonna get dropped here and get us at least 10% then we'll be at roughly 40% we can do this last push in here with all I have left which is basically a couple troops CC troops and heroes and that should get all the remaining loot and the star the 50% is important to retain your cups to stay in this league but also the big benefit about being in master is that loot bonus 75,000 at master 3 is substantial if you do 10 raids a day you know 750,000 at um, master 2 which is uh, not quite as common to farm in but um, I do a little bit you get 90,000 bonus per winning raid so right there you can turn uh, a small 100k raid into almost a 200k raid I was doing that when loot was hard to find the past few days sometimes just go for 50% on a base even if it doesn't have loot you will get the bonus and you will always get some loot even if it's 50,000 maybe a hundred thousand with the bonus that adds up to a decent score it's better than nothing the worst thing you can do is just search and search and search and throw money away I have a bad habit of doing that sometimes you know looking for the holy grail it's like what you do in cup hunting you keep looking for a big score but I would advise against that I would say set a minimum of what the the lowest you'll take but make sure it's reasonable 200k is not necessarily reasonable all the time sometimes you're gonna want to take 150k or if you've been searching for a long time even 100k searching is you know it's costly at town hall 10 it costs a thousand each it's crazy crazy so you know if you press next a hundred times you've wasted a good portion of your profit here uh, a lot of times I can find uh, sort of a preemie base like this with decent loot in the storages fairly quickly it's not quite as convenient as an inactive base or base with all the storages on the outside but it's not an intense base I can break through these walls easily even though I don't have wall breakers and uh, I can probably get all the storages with the help of my heroes so I always say you should have your heroes when farming in master it makes it a little easier for me it makes it a little easier to get all the loot sometimes you need that just one more storage but really it's not necessary you'll see I often do raids where I don't use heroes or even spells so this sort of farming range and using the Bart strategy is uh, certainly viable for for anyone even if you're upgrading your heroes all the time is my point this is a great place to upgrade your heroes because uh, a lot of the raids have like 2,000 minimum dark elixir this one doesn't it only has a thousand but uh, if a base is even remotely inactive most bases have max dark elixir drills those things hold 1200 well they hold 1600 but when they're full you can get 1200 out of each and if there's three that's 3600 so big score on inactives all right guys that's it for today let's uh see what we can upgrade i can do an archer tower yes these things have been a wicked pain uh, i've just been trying to grind them out while doing walls and uh, it was going slow but i'm almost through them then gonna concentrate on the walls exclusively again psyched on that I've got about uh, 140 left getting down to about halfway and I can't wait to hit that halfway point thanks for watching guys I really appreciate it throw me a comment below and definitely like and subscribe to my videos for more content thanks again for watching see you next time